This is the Asus ZenBook Duo, and it is a portable productivity powerhouse. I can't tell you how excited I was to actually check out this laptop. And after using it for nearly a month now, this thing has become one of my favorite pieces of tech to carry around with me. Okay, so here's the thing with laptops like this, okay? So a lot of times whenever you see these insane, almost concept-like designs, they look fantastic and sound incredibly cool. But when you actually use them in real life, they're less than ideal. So that's what I wanted to see here. Are these screens actually useful or is this another gimmick? How's the keyboard implementation? Are the dual screens actually even useful? And is this laptop even worth the money? Let's get into it. Also, quick side note, the laptop is linked in the description down below. If you're interested in picking one up, I'd really appreciate your support on that link. First and foremost, I wanna talk about this design because ASUS has really knocked this one out of the park, which is why when they asked me if I wanted to partner up with them, I said, hell yeah. This thing is a productivity and multitasking user's dream. The laptop features not one, but two 14 inch touchscreen OLED panels on this one laptop body. Over on the back, you have this like really nice and sturdy stand. It also comes with this wireless Bluetooth keyboard that you can just literally pop off and keep nearby and use this completely wirelessly with this dual screen monitor set up anywhere. And the coolest part is whenever you want the regular laptop form factor, the Bluetooth keyboard will literally magnetically attach to the bottom screen and this becomes like a regular laptop. The keyboard also has these pogo pins which will allow the laptop to charge this keyboard so when you do want to detach it and take it with you, its battery is fully charged and loaded. Now you can even pop this into something called desktop mode, which is basically like the screens in a portrait configuration if you wanted to max out your Twitter feeds or for coders and stuff that need that vertical space. Now, some of you might be wondering, Dossi, this is all really cool and great, but what's the point of this? Like, is this actually gonna be useful? That is an important question to ask, especially if we're making the claim that this is much more multifunctional and productive than a regular traditional laptop design. So I wanted to kind of show you the different ways that this actually comes in handy. Okay, the first reason is, come on, having a dual monitor set up like this is freaking cool. Why wouldn't you want the ability of having like a YouTube video play up here while you're working down here? Or let's say if you're a video editor, then basically, you know, media window up here with all of your files and the actual timeline down here for you to edit. Or let's say you're having a meeting, then have like your actual meeting going on up here while you refer to your notes and whatnot down here. Or if you wanted to basically have a meeting up there and throw up a YouTube video down here, it looks like you're paying attention to the meeting because you're still looking at your monitor, but you're actually watching a video. Don't lie, you guys all do this, okay? One of my favorite ways of using is if you're gaming on one screen, then to have other pertinent information or your live stream or Discord or whatever you need open on the other. And this actually addresses like a universal problem that a lot of laptop users actually have. You're straining and you're looking down this way and your hands are here and basically you're hunched over, thus messing with your posture. But with this, boom automatically, now you have a dual monitor and you can look at the monitor at a good enough distance and work at eye level. This is probably one of my favorite things about this computer, really making it much more ergonomically sound as well for the average user. Having so many different ways of using this computer actually make this super, super versatile. And another cool thing you can do is, let's say if you want to like play chess or something like that, you can basically mirror the screen to have the same thing on either side. You also have cool shortcuts that you can do. So let's say, for example, you forgot this actual keyboard at home. Now I have a full-fledged virtual keyboard here that I can use to type and this trackpad is actually really functional as well which is really cool. Six fingers swipe it down and boom now I have like a drawing space up here. This has your system brightness, your volume. Now, one of the things that is important to me as a tech YouTuber is being able to connect like my phones to this computer. Now, considering I'm somebody who usually carries two different phones, I have my S24 Ultra and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. 
I don't know which one I'm using. And if I'm using the iPhone, I need to be able to seamlessly connect to this. And the ability of having AirDrop was really integral to my creation process. But I'm glad to report that with Intel Unison, I haven't had any issues at all. And it quickly connects to my iPhone and I'm able to quickly drop and drag whatever files I want or need between both devices. Now, another thing that this laptop has is something called an NPU, which is a neural processing unit. And this is gonna help process things like AI tasks, and stuff like that. So for example, if you're using the webcam, which by the way, is actually a pretty good experience on this laptop. So in a traditional laptop, you have like the webcam here. So if you're working and you're chatting with somebody, you're basically getting like an up the nose view, right? But with this, you have a eye level webcam. But going back to the NPU thing, when you're in the actual webcam, you have stuff like the blurring or having like studio backgrounds and stuff like that. And as our worlds get more and more AI dependent, I think having something like this will really help future proof this computer. So these are just some of the ways that I've personally been using this laptop, but there's a lot of different ways that you might find it handy. And what I really found impressive was all of this could be had for just $21.99 Canadian or $1,500 USD. Now I wanna quickly touch on the build quality because it's pretty important, but it becomes much more important when you have an unconventional design like this. The laptop, I'll tell you right off the bat, it feels quite premium in your hand, so you have nothing to worry about there. All the moving parts feel really solid and that is really important because the hinge is nice and firm this allows you to position this laptop in several different angles if needed for the keyboard now this is something i was also a little bit concerned about because it is a completely detachable portable keyboard but i'm happy to report that everything from the key travel to the dished keys and the trackpad being the ErgoSense trackpad along with the ErgoSense keyboard, everything feels and works really well. It has a USB-C charging port on here in case if you use this constantly away from your laptop and you just want to charge this separately. Now, one of the things that I wanted to mention is that this thing is a little bit thicker and it is slightly heavier than your average Asus 14 inch laptop. And it completely makes sense because you're basically traveling with an entire new display. But I think for me, having that extra capability is well worth the trade off because once you get to that desk and you pop it open and you take that keyboard off, you're just like, I'm, I'm glad I have this. Now let's quickly talk about the insides because this is exciting as well. It's got the latest 14 Gen Meter Lake inside, which can be specced all the way up till the Intel Core Ultra 9 processor. However, the one that I have here, which is the most that's available in Canada right now, is the Intel Core Ultra 7. It's also got the much improved Intel Arc graphics. This one has 16 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of storage. Now I wanna quickly talk on the actual software. Having two different screens built into one laptop means you gotta have the software to really support everything and it's gotta function you know, seamlessly, especially when you have three different companies that need to play well with each other, right? We have Asus who's designed the laptop, we have Windows who's running the software and it's all powered by Intel. But I think all three have done a great job here bringing the entire experience together. Now in day-to-day -day usage, this laptop has been fantastic for me. All the regular tasks and stuff that I need to do, I've had no issues. I've been able to video edit on it using DaVinci Resolve, photo edit with Lightroom and Photoshop, script my videos with Microsoft OneNote. A couple of things that I'm glad that they also did with this laptop was throwing that IR sensor into here so that I can use the Windows face unlocking, which I'm a fan of. I don't wanna be typing in no passwords, right? I like the fact that I can open this up and it quickly just unlocks it for me. And also the quick boot up time. When I open the lid, it starts up right away, which is also really good. And now I also wanted to mention an important distinction here to, which is that these are actually two separate screens rather than one screen with like a fold down the middle. And I'm glad they did it this way because snapping different windows to different screens and everything like that is a much more seamless experience thanks to the Windows software and the Asus built-in tools. Anytime you drag on a window, it immediately gives you the option of basically placing this anywhere. And there's tons of different options here. So however you wanna multitask, this thing is, it's got you covered. Next. I want to quickly touch on the ports. Now on the outside, we have several different options, a full IO set, which I was happy about because I'm glad we're moving away from this whole world of let's keep as minimal ports on the laptop as possible. I don't know whose voice that is. And I don't know whose idea that was. <clears throat> 
Uh, but I'm glad we've steered clear from it on this laptop. We've got an HDMI port, two separate Thunderbolt 4 ports, and headphone jack, and a USB 3.2 Gen A Type 1 port. Lots of options, whether you're a boomer or whether you're a millennial, you're gonna be able to plug into this. Now, if I could improve the experience about one thing on this computer, it would probably be the stereo speakers. They're good, they're nice and clear and loud, they're by Harman Kardon, so you know they're quality speakers, but Unfortunately, because of the design and the limitations of the laptop, usually a laptop will have your speakers on the actual keyboard, but because this is a detachable keyboard and you can't really put the speakers inside like a screen, the only place they could get the speakers in was on the outside here. So these two things here are the actual speakers. And because of that, even if they're fantastic speakers, the positioning of the speakers makes the sound kind of go down into the table and then bounce up at you. So that makes it a little less ideal. However, if you're somebody like me, who's always using headphones anyways with your computer, then that's not really gonna bother you. Next, let's talk about the battery life. This is an important metric because two screens on this, uh, as you can assume, is going to probably chew through your juice quite a bit more. But luckily Asus has put a 75 watt hour battery inside this thing, so it's nice and beefy. And I'm happy to report I, with both screens on, I was getting about five to six hours of battery life while using this quite heavily. And if you turn off the second display and you're using it in laptop mode, then you're going to be getting about eight to nine hours, which should be good enough for a vast majority of people to get through the day. And if not, then you can fast charge this to 60% at under 50 minutes. Now let's conclude on this laptop. Honestly, the cleverness on how they designed this laptop and how they've thought of all these little things to really make this functional, both from a hardware and software standpoint, I really gotta give it to them. At the end of the day, this thing can be whatever you want it to be. Whether you wanna use it in your traditional laptop mode or you want that dual display mode or you want that desktop mode in portrait. So it's just so versatile and that's what makes this one of the most productive and multifunctional use case devices or computers that I've used to date. And at a quite reasonable price for what it offers, I think it really gives a lot of the other regular laptops a run for their money. So if you are interested in picking up a laptop and you're in the market for one, I definitely recommend you check this guy out because having these dual displays is freaking awesome. If you have any particular questions about this laptop, let me know in the comment section down below. And if you like this video, you're definitely gonna like this one or this one that YouTube thinks you're gonna like, and I'll see you guys there. Peace.